What's up? What's going on? So, we're going to be watching some more trailers coming at you. Haven't watched any of the, or I have watched the San Diego Comic Con ones, but I didn't upload them because I was busy with other stuff. But we're back, baby, with more trailer reactions and reviews. Let me do some analysis, some of them. If you guys like the uh, Mary Poppins tra trailer analysis, I might do another one of those, but yeah. I'm just gonna sit back and watch a few trailers and, you know, get it hyping and rolling. So now we're gonna watch the X-Men Dark Phoenix trailer that came out, like, yesterday. Didn't get a chance to watch it, because I've been really, really busy with a bunch of other stuff I have to do. So, yeah, we're watching it now. So, this is from a uh, new director. Kind of iffy on that. Even though he's been, like, a producer on, like, a ton of other like X-Men movies and all that. Here it's his first time directing it. Brian Singer's not directing it, unfortunately. And um Yeah, we've seen the Dark Phoenix in the last stand and that was complete and utter crap. So now they're trying it again and I guess it's supposed to be in the nineties. Hopefully they uh are Apparent, I guess it's like they're still trying to keep the first two X-Men movies kind of like in line with the timeline, I guess, maybe, but so far it doesn't really seem like they're going in that direction, so yeah, because they look, because Eric and Professor X, they look almost the exact same as they did like in the 60s or whatever. Maybe a little bit older, but yeah, not not a whole lot different. So I guess yeah, there you go. So also the uh, the um, apocalypse movie that was nah, I guess I mean, it was fine. It wasn't total crap. So yeah, that's all I've got for this movie so far. So without further ado, let's get into this trailer. Starting now, let's watch this thing. Oh, there's... And there's the pop song, I guess. And this is, again, this is a little bit different because she showed up at the school. Of, like in the third movie when she they went to her. There's another word for that. Oh, of course, she's not in the blue. Jack Horse is in that blue makeup. They're doing some space stuff. Okay. Jeez, <laughs> that's true. I like, yes. Oh crap, Nightcrawler's back, man. Yes! Alright, so there's a lot to unpack with that. I mean, I wasn't really reacting, because... Didn't really give a whole lot of... Oomph, I guess, but... There's a lot to unpack here. The girl who plays Jean Grey, I don't know her, I'm sorry, but I've seen her in Game of Thrones. Everyone apparently loves her in Game of Thrones. I don't get it. She is 
she's awful. I don't know why. She's just... Her character is just... Has a lot of white problems. Like, oh, why won't Jeffrey marry me? You know, it's just crap like that. And amongst all this other political talk, people fighting for their lives, she's just over here like, oh, why won't Jeffrey marry me? It's whatever. And she was awful in Apocalypse. I will give it this. I'll give her this. Even though this is a trailer, and this could be completely different. She doesn't look that bad. She actually looks like she knows what she's doing, and she's not trying to be like all emotional and all that. This time, it's actually real. This time, it's like... She's never smiling, of course, but... <laughs> I mean, when does she ever smile? But in this type of movie, she shouldn't really be smiling all that much. So this could work in her feel, I guess. We got little subtle hints of the Dark Phoenix in Apocalypse. And, this, and we're going to get Dark Phoenix in here. Another thing I'd like to point out here is... This is entirely the Dark Phoenix trailer. This is all about Jean, Jean Grey. You don't see a whole lot of like other people. Like, you don't see a lot of Apocalypse. You don't, no, not Apocalypse, Apocalypse. You don't see a lot of Professor X or Eric or whatever. They're in there, they're prominent in there, but they don't see a lot of them in there. You don't see a lot of Jennifer Lawrence or whatever, which is, they're taking consideration what went wrong with The Last Stand. It was like all these other subplots and then all of a sudden, boom, there's Dark Phoenix just as a side plot. This trailer, this whole plot is focused on Dark Phoenix. The movie is based on Dark Phoenix. And we saw some space stuff. They went into space with the Quinjet, I guess, or something like that. I don't even know what the heck it's called. The X-Men Jet. They went into space, man. And I don't know a whole lot about the Dark Phoenix comic, but I do know it's a lot of it takes place in space. I guess they're going to space now. Finally. <laughs> I mean, finally. They, they did everything. They just trashed the world. Just trashed some space, man. I mean, yes. Good job. It also seems a little bit like a cartoon. You know, it's just like... In a good way, not in a bad way. It's like, Jean's just like, doing her thing, and it's just like, helicopters flying all over the place, all these types of things, kind of craziness happening. It's rem reminiscent of the cartoon, like the old X-Men cartoon, which is pretty good. It's really good, and especially, especially with the, the jet going into space. I would not expect that jet to go into space, but it did. As for of the cartoons too, like they would probably, like the Dark Phoenix, they would go into space and all that and do their thing. Do I think they're going to be a lot in space? No. <laughs> no. But if you get some space things, that would be great. That would be reminiscent of the comic book. I mean, yeah, I'm satisfied. Except for the fact that um, Professor X and Eric look exactly the same that they did when, like in the 60s or whatever. Other than that, I mean, yeah, it's a good trailer. I, I, I approve. I, I approve of this trailer. I don't know when it's supposed to take place in the 90s, whether or not they're going to do anything like that. But I'll, I'll give you this. Jean Grey, the actress, looks the part. She she looks like she plays the part, looks like she's actually crying instead of acting crying. It's going to be a really emotional movie, and I'm looking forward to it. Alright guys, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think of this trailer. You think it's going to be better than X-Men 3? Comment, let me know, subscribe, ring that bell. More content coming your way, and take care.